Microsoft have announced two new sales agents. What are they? What would you use them for? How are they different from each other? And how does this compare with Copilot for sales? And any other questions you've got, I've got you covered. What we've seen is an announcement of two new sales agents, which I'm going to take you through. These are designed to work with either the Microsoft CRM, which is Dynamics 365 Sales, or with Salesforce. You can use these in the Microsoft 365 Copilot or Copilot Chat experience. I've got a whole other video here on Copilot Chat if you want to know more about that. And this is a brand new announcement, March 2025. All of what I've got in here is screenshots from the release. These things are actually going to be in preview in May 2025. So if you're interested in this, make sure you subscribe and I will do live demos when I have access to live demos. So let's take a look at the first one here, which is the sales chat. This one is designed to be an experience where you as a seller have information that's more than just your CRM. So you've got all of that information about your accounts, contacts, opportunities in your CRM. But in reality, you are working with Outlook and Teams meetings and documents and files and all of those things that actually aren't in your CRM. So this is a chat experience that is designed to help you be able to get answers across all of those things in one place quickly. So this is the Microsoft 365 chat no, hang on, let me get this right. The Microsoft 365 Copilot chat experience. This is a custom agent. So this is what this agent is going to do. And you might have seen something familiar to this before if you've seen some of the other agents that are going on. So this is an agent that is just defined to really help you with those sales scenarios. We've got some quick prompts that are sitting there. And the idea is that as a seller, I can come in and put prompts in that will get me information across all of those things that are relevant to me. Show me an account summary from Fabricam. And I've actually got in here things that are coming back from my CRM. Here are the account highlights, pipeline insights, recent engagement. Now, there's very little information about this so far. So a lot of what I'm doing here is interpreting things from what's been announced and what I know. This to me looks like an agent that's been configured to have really good instructions that will understand the intent of the seller question and be able to return this information to you in this kind of format when you ask a question like this. It's actually got the citations in here the same as any of these other agent experiences. So you'll see little numbers two and three there and at the bottom it's showing you where those things came from. So this is drawing information from my CRM, but realistically as a seller, I'm not just living in this CRM. I am also doing a lot of meetings and I'm working with emails. So this experience also allows you to draw on those things. So this is very much the same as what you can do with the main Microsoft 365 Copilot license, but this is now narrowed down to be more of a sales specific focus. Help me prepare for a meeting and you can see that you can actually draw on other files and meetings and emails in there. So results of that prompt, I'm actually getting my meeting agenda and goals. Here are the related files. This is a real winner, this one, this preparing for a meeting. I, I work very closely with sellers and even for me, myself in my job, the collating all of the information together is immensely helpful. We can go a step further though, because we've actually got experiences in here that allow you to get Copilot to visualize things for you. So this sales chat is able to respond with visual things as well. How is my pipeline looking? And then it's actually able to generate that visual. So this is using that qualify, develop, propose, close, typical sales pipeline stages, and it's bringing that in there. There's a lot more going on under the hood in Copilot with these visualizations. So I think this is going to be quite a, a useful thing. So that's the first one. That's the sales chat. I'm in that Microsoft 365 Copilot chat experience and getting information from not just my CRM, but my documents, files and meetings. And that's all existing there. This next one is quite different. The sales agent. This is actually what's called an autonomous agent. So the idea here is that unlike the previous one where we were doing a chat experience, this is something that's acting 
independently, autonomously in the background and doing things with guidance that you put in place. This is this next level of working with AI, where we start to think about agents as more than just chat experiences. Now, these are things that are actually able to automate using AI and run processes for us in the background. So the scenario here is that as a seller, if you're in a scenario where you've got a lot of incoming leads, if you're working with something with a lot of new business coming in, the time that it takes to qualify those leads and make sure that you're focused on the most important leads is something that this is going to help you reduce that time. So again, these are screenshots that were sort of from the Microsoft release. The idea is that a customer is reaching out with a contact us form or something similar, and that lands in your CRM system. So what this is able to do, this is an autonomous agent that is basically just working behind the scenes. And I will show you the options for tweaking it in a second. You, you will have some control over this. But this is working behind the scenes to monitor and review based on your guidance, all of those incoming requests. So instead of having to manually as a seller, you, you get this new inquiry and you have to go, hi, can you tell us what your budget is and what you're interested in? This agent is able to do that for you. So this is an example here where the agent is using the information that's given and the guidance that's given to respond to that customer autonomously and actually ask for details and provide information and go back and forth to help qualify that deal. This is just a closer up version of the previous uh, screenshot. You can see See here, it's actually giving uh, a, a quote and, and things like that. So if we've given it permission to do those things. So the settings here, and this is a, a visual sort of um, idea of what it's going to be. So again, this is not coming out till May, but the concept here is very much the same as anything else we're seeing in autonomous agents, where you are giving it guidelines and instructions on how you want it to behave. So even though this is a bit of a preview screenshot, the principles are the same. So we're going to say here are some sample emails. So that's what it's drawing on to send those things out. We've also got this communication guidance here. If the lead asks this type of thing, this is the kind of response that we want to give. This, I think, will be critical to the success and usefulness of it. Again, this is all I've got right now. Watch this space. I will come back with more when I get my hands on this when it's real a little bit later in the year. But it does come with this ability to fine tune and to put things in that are in your brand voice, your templates, your guidance. So it's not just running away, making up its own thing. And then here's an example of the response. So as you're building out those parameters of how you want it to behave, you're getting examples of, of how it might respond. So the other idea here is that it's monitoring those incoming leads. So this first part we've seen is that it's giving, uh, it's doing that automated communications out to the customer based on the information and guidelines that you've given it. But it's also monitoring your inbound leads to help you prioritize and pick up on something that might be important. So here we've got one where it's sending you a proactive alert to say, hey, here's a lead from someone where there is a past deal history. This is something that I want to draw your attention to. And we can click on this button here to get more information about it. So this is now where it's drawing on information from the CRM. You'll see the first two references there are say which is your CRM system, Salesforce or Dynamics. And then it's actually also using a web search based on that customer to help with the research. So again, this is a, a, an autonomous agent that's pulling all of that information together for you about the customer, about the organization, about the interaction history that helps you get that overview of what you should be doing next. And again, we'll just zoom in on that. So those are the two agents. First question here, can I extend and customize them? If you've got other questions, please put them here. I can't answer the licensing question yet. I wish I could, but Microsoft always announce a product and then the licensing is announced when the thing becomes available. When I know, you'll know, but I can't answer that one yet. But put the questions in the chat for other things. But this is the top one, I think. Can I extend and customize them? Yes, you will be able to. So this is a mock-up I've done of something that I think is how it will work. This is using that same agent capability that we can use inside the Microsoft 365 Copilot. That is configurable. And we can also use Copilot Studio as the tool to extend things. 
So again, this is my mock-up of these things. This is not necessarily exactly how it will work, but the principles here and the guidance I've had from Microsoft is that yes, you will be able to extend them using Copilot Studio. If you want to learn more about Copilot Studio, I've got content here, but this is a tool that you will be able to use to extend those agents. So this is exciting. It's sort of giving you a, a starting point of something that will be ready to go. But for most organizations, you'll want to make that your own. You might want to control the flow of conversation a certain way, control the actions it takes, control the knowledge sources that it's got access to. And that's where Copilot Studio comes in. Now, the other thing you might be wondering is what about Copilot for sales? Like that's been around for a while. It's been in market for a while that exists right now. Does it replace that? What's going on? Uh, I, I don't have a complete crystal ball into the future here, obviously, but there's no change to this. And this sits alongside it and it is doing something quite different. I'll do a little summary at the end of all of these things. But the sales agent that we just saw is an autonomous agent helping you with your leads. The sales chat is a an experience where I'm in a chat experience trying to find information. This one, the co-pilot for sales, is about bringing CRM into the productivity tools, primarily Outlook, Word and Teams. So when I'm in Outlook and I'm just using my email as opposed to a chat experience where I'm preparing for a meeting, I'm now in my email, I'm getting my CRM context and CRM insights about about purchasing and buying signals that AI is sitting alongside me in Outlook, drawing on those pieces of information that I've got in my CRM. It's also helping me to summarize and provide information about an opportunity in the context of Outlook setting up a meeting or reviewing an email and giving me a shortcut to updating and entering my data. So this is quite a, a different experience. In Word, you can also say, help me prepare for a meeting or help me prepare a document and reference these things that are going on. And it is quite different from these new ones. I know it's confusing when there's lots of different products coming at us. I think what I'm seeing here is that there are lots of different ways to use AI with sales. And that's OK. People are going to choose to use different things along the way. So this one is very much about bringing your CRM data into those applications that you're using. So here's our summary and our recap. Hit me with the questions in the comments and I'll do my best. Copilot for sales, bringing your CRM data and insights inside Outlook, Teams and Word, where you're working, let's get that CRM data as part of what you're doing. The sales chat experience. I wanna do an AI natural language chat to quickly find information about all of the things that help me as a seller, not just my CRM, obviously my CRM, but also all of my documents and meetings and emails and other things that I'm using at work. And the sales agent, this is the most innovative one here, autonomous agent that's actually keeping an eye on everything that's going on with those incoming leads, highlighting things for me that I should know about and presenting that research to me, as well as being able to automate that communication with the customer. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed for more on AI agents, all the things.